I want to talk about your time on the F3 because that doesn't get enough love. What did What did you feel about not love? Not, 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 not enough love. No. I loved. Um, I loved the F3. The air defence was kind of a a very new thing to me. Ground attack, navigation, maps, uh, fixes, updating the kit on the Tornado was uh, on the GL1 was a relatively straightforward air defence bit more kind of three-dimensional chess in your head. The Tornado system was great. It was not. The Tornado F3 was not a fighter. It was never going to win in a one-on-one knives in a bloody post box fight with an F-16 or an F-15C. It was never going to win. Uh, but what it was, first of all, with Crew 2, you had massive situational awareness. And it was very, very good at uh, coordinated attacks. And so when we took it um, on, I think it must have been Green Flag, I think, something like up to Canada, um, we did, we gave a really good account of ourselves. You would, If you got into a mix-up with eight F-15s, you weren't going anywhere. <laughs> but if you could stand off and be sneaky and use its incredible low-level capability, it's fantastic fantastic by then radar capability yeah. and on a number of occasions uh, we managed to take down uh, we were tasked with uh, attacking the hvaa the high value air asset so either something like the AWACS. so the americans were meant to be protecting the AWACS, and we would be tasked as the enemy to go and get it and we got through on most occasions by sneakiness <laughs> by doing what we did best by uh and so it, it gave a good account of itself. And it was it was designed to stop 40 Soviet blackjacks or bears coming across from the Greenland, Iceland, UK gap and, you know, launching either their cruise missiles or dropping bombs. It was meant to stand off and, you know, it, with its four sky flash and four sideliner missiles. It was meant to be kind of targeting from afar. And it was really good at that. It was really good at it. Not Listen, it wasn't as good as a strike eagle. No, nobody's going to say it was, but it was good. And it was a great aircraft to fly because it was still a fantastic aircraft to fly at low level, a brilliant aircraft to fly at low level. So yeah, there you go, folks. A bit of love for my beloved F3 love from it. John Nicol there. So I appreciate that.